on the way to New York now. Uh, we are passing a couple of clouds. Uh, this is uh, Denmark, Norway. Flight is progressing very, very, very fine. We are in a climb now. And my idea was to explain the side stick on the on the Airbus. No yoke here or bicycle steering handle. It's uh, all modern planes are fly by wire planes, so there's no wire from the side stick or from the yoke back to the control surfaces. Instead, this uh, side stick is telling five computers what the pilot wants the plane to do. And the computer switches are here, PRIM1, SEC1, and over here PRIM2, SEC2, and PRIM3. The Airbus 350 has got six computers. And in pitch, uh, you command uh, G-force, and in roll, if you move it sideways, you command uh, roll rate works very very good. This is the autopilot disconnect button. The autopilot is engaged now, autopilot 2, because my co-pilot is flying. Now I, I ask to take controls of the plane. Here on the front, at the front, there's a switch controlling. It's a press to talk button for the radio. Now I'm gonna disconnect the autopilot so I can show you how it works. First there was a signal telling that the uh, autopilot is disconnected. If I don't do anything now with the side stick, the plane remains with uh, this attitude I have. Nothing is going to happen. It will not uh, bank, it will not change pitch and, or anything. Just keeping this attitude in the, in the sky. It's, uh, typical Airbus feature, really really good, which means that if I give a roll input like this, a little on the side, and then I, I release, the plane will keep the bank angle, and, and I, I t may give a roll input the other way, like this, and, the, and then release it, and then the plane will keep uh, the bank angle again. It works really, really good. It's sensitive and it's a dream to fly. Then I put the ring cross in the middle and release it and then I engage the autopilot again. Autopilot 2 because my co pilot is a fine pilot on this one. It's kind of crazy to have a... I think it's kind of crazy to have a yoke in the way here. Uh, in the way for my legs and uh, now I can move and do sit very comfortably because the both the joke and the side stick is connected to computers and many years ago the purpose of having a big yoke was that you needed power because it, the plane were very they were very heavy to control but nowadays when when you you give signals to computers, it could just as well be a side stick. And I really like it, I, I think you already know that. So, a conclusion. With a side stick, you tell the computers what you want the plane to do, and then the computers flies the plane for you. Side stick is nice. Uh, passing Iceland. Can't see it. Progressing fine. I sometimes get the question if it's difficult to fly with the left hand or right hand. You know, I'm I'm a right-handed person, and I fly with the left hand. And strangely enough, it doesn't matter at all if I use my left hand or the or the right hand. If in some way, my brain. Cor uh, 
compensates for it. The only thing that I can feel that it's slightly easier for me to write on the MCDU with the right hand because if I if I sit on the right uh, on the right in the right seat sometimes it's a little bit uh, trickier to use my left hand. Greenland.